The movie starts 2002 in Toronto. 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian Mela narrates about how one must honor their parent because of what they do for their children, so she has felt that she has to do whatever they want. As a result, May is incredibly talented in her schoolwork, even if some of her peers think she is weird and annoying. May had a close group of friends with similar interests that includes the cool-headed Miriam, the deadpan Priya, and the impassioned Abby. While returning home from school, the girls pass by a convenience store and spy on the 17-year-old clerk Devin, while May's friends find him attractive. But May does doesn't see the big deal. She brings up Four Town, the boy band they are obsessed with, which consists of Robert, Jesse, Ti Young, Aaron T, and Aaron Z. May declines the girl's request to hang out because she has to go home and help clean and her friends remark that she spends too much time fulfilling her desires. May arrives at the temple where she converses with the locals and meets with her mother Ming. They live together in a temple that honors the red panda and is a noted tourist attraction. The two take a moment to pray to their ancestor Sun Yi. May does everything with Ming, as she desperately wants to maintain her approval. But Ming doesn't care for May's personal interests or her friends, seeing them as bad influences. May returns to her studies. While doing her homework, May begins to daydream and draw pictures of Devin and finds herself romantically obsessed with him. She tries to hide her journal when Ming comes in to check on her. But upon finding the journal, she overreacts and assumes that Devin was trying to attract her. She forcibly drives her to the convenience store to confront Devin and tells her to stay away from May. It while waving her drawings to him, attracting attention from onlookers including May's bullying classmate Tyler. Despite being angry and embarrassed, May hides her feelings from her mother. That night, May has a vivid nightmare. In the morning, she wakes up and has transformed into an enormous red panda. She freaks out and tries to hide herself, but when Ming overhears the commotion and believes May is experiencing her first period, she immediately brings pads. Ming gets distracted long enough for May to return to her room where she learns that when she gets calm, she reverts to normal, though her once raven black hair has now turned a bright orange red, forcing her to wear a red beanie. May keeps a stoic face when Ming drops her off at school and reunites with her friends who inform her that Tyler has spread the incident at the convenience store all over school. Despite May's anger, she struggles to hide the panda. During class, Miriam passes a note to May, informing her that Ming is outside the window. Ming gets into a fight with the school's security guard as all the students and the math teacher watch. Ming reveals that she came to drop off some pads, which embarrasses May further and causes her to turn into a red panda again. Ming sees what has happened to her daughter and May flees before anyone else can see her. May runs through the streets, causing destruction, but also discovers that her reflexes are somewhat heightened. Upon returning to her room in tears, Ming attempts to comfort her, only for Jin to come in and accidentally blurt out. It's happened already, forcing Ming and Jin to reveal their family history. Ming brings her into the temple to reveal the truth when Sun Yi's husband went to fight in a war. She asked the gods to give her power to protect her daughters. Under a red moon, she was gifted with the ability to turn into a red panda and become a great guardian for her family. Since then, she has passed this ability down to her daughters where it has been part of their history ever since. May is upset, but Ming reveals that there is a cure. Under the next red moon, which will be May 25th, they will perform a ritual to encase the power of the panda she wears around her neck. She warns her however that the more she transforms, the harder it will be to encase the power and tells her not to transform. In order to keep her from causing more destruction, Ming and Jin take out May's furniture and leave her only with a mattress. The next day, Miria, Priya, and Abby stop by May's house where they find her in her red panda form. Although they aren't bothered by it and even find her adorable, May cries because she feels like a freak who can't control the transformation. The girls sing a four-town song to cheer May up, and once they are in a group hug, May becomes human again. She realizes realizes that her friends are what keep her in control. Abby then points out that Four Town will be coming to Toronto on May 18th, so the girls want to raise money to buy concert tickets. After sending her friends away, May's parents do tests to see if she can keep her emotions under control, and she manages to do so. However, when May asks her parents if she can get a ticket to see Four Town, Ming says no. After May goes to her room, the family gets a call from Ming's mother, who she has seen the news of May as a panda running around Toronto, and she is making plans to see her daughter and granddaughter, much to Ming's horror. At school during dodgeball practice, all four girls reveal that they were unable to convince their parents to get them tickets as they are expensive. When Tyler begins to mock May after they notice that Ming is spying on them, May angrily uses her panda powers to toss the ball so hard that it breaks a window. May's friends take her to the bathroom where she laments the fact that her mother is always pushing her to be perfect little May May, and that she wants to break free. While trying to come up with a solution to get the money for tickets, Abby convinces May to transfer form again. Moments later, a girl named Stacy who had previously seen May as a panda enters with her friends as May becomes a panda. Instead of being freaked out, 
The other girls find May to be cute and cuddly, and the four girls hatch an idea to profit off of May's panda form for money to buy concert tickets. They hide this from Ming by pretending to be doing a mathletes program. Tyler privately approaches and tells her he wants her to bring her red panda self to his birthday party, or he will tell her mom what she has been doing. May agrees, but only if Tyler pays her the $200 the exact amount needed for all four girls to get into the concert, and, on the night of Tyler's party, May attempts to go out and says she's going to be with friends. Ming tries to go along, but May straight up tells her she doesn't want her to come. Before May is about to leave for Tyler's house, her grandmother Wu and aunties arrive, detaining her from the party. They dote on May as they try to prepare her for the ritual, but May pretends to go to bed so she can sneak off to the party. Afterwards, May tries to leave through the window but she's stopped by Grandma Wu, who tells her how dangerous the red panda is and implying that the scar over her eye came from Ming when she transformed. After Wu leaves, Mei finally manages to escape, but knocks down a photo of herself and her mother. Mei finally arrives at the party, in a cheap red panda suit and admits to her friends that she is scared of transforming again after what she just learned. Upon realizing that she would be disappointing her friends, Mei finally changes her mind and goes into panda mode. She has a great time with her friends and classmates, but back home, Ming finds out Mei has snuck out and finds the invitation to Tyler's party, as well as the merchandise she has been making off her panda self. Just as the girls are enjoying the evening, they overhear on the radio that Four Town will actually be coming to Toronto on May 25th, which is the same night as the ritual. Abby realizes that she must read Toronto as Toledo, which is where they will be on the 18th. May becomes frustrated, just as Tyler calls out to her and demands that she give the other kids rides. When May refuses, Tyler insults her and her family. May attacks him furiously, but it leaves Tyler scared and crying, and the other kids back away in fear. Ming arrives just in time to witness this, and she gets chewed out by Tyler's parents. Ming then blames May's friends, believing they were the ones who encouraged her to continue transforming. Although Miriam tries to clarify things, May cannot bring herself to defend her friends for fear of what Ming will think. She leaves the girls disappointed. On May 25th, Miriam, Priya and Abby head to the concert by themselves while May stays at home with her family to perform the ritual with their neighbor Mr. Gao, who apparently was a shaman on the side. Her father Jin finds a camcorder with a video of May as a panda being happy with her friends. He goes to her room and offers words of encouragement, noting that before Ming lost her panda spirit, she was actually quite big and scary. She had an argument with Wu over her relationship with Jin, which led to a ferocious argument that left Wu with a scar over her eye. Jin gives May advice on making her own choice. The ritual commences as the women sing as May's soul heads to a spiritual realm where she encounters Sunny who holds a mirror that she must enter to remove the power. However, while going through it, she begins to reminisce on how much being a red panda has changed her life and rejects getting cured. The ritual fails and May happily bounces away to the concert in her red panda form. She starts to head out, but everyone tries to hold her back. May breaks free and knocks Ming down, causing her charm to crack. Ming becomes furious, and her charm completely breaks, setting her own panda spirit free. May uses her powers to make it to the Sky Dome where the concert is being held. She finds her friends and tries to apologize to them, but Miriam notes that she threw them under the bus. Priya and Abby then point out that Miriam has been taking care of May's digital pet that she dropped at Tyler's house, meaning Miriam couldn't stay completely mad at May. The girls reconcile, and they see Tyler is at the concert, as he is secretly a four-town fan and he loves Aaron Z. The girls are excited and watch the show with him. Unfortunately, the concert is disrupted by Panda Ming, who is as big as a skyscraper. Everyone flees the concert as May's family and Mr. Gao arrived, telling May that they need to save her mother. Jin creates a ring big enough to fit Ming. Ming furiously grabs May and angrily chastises her for disobeying her and being rebellious. May admits that she likes who she is and reveals that her friends were never at fault for her decisions, angering her further. During the fight, however, May accidentally knocks Ming out. Wu and the Andes break their charms to unleash their panda spirits and help May pull Ming into the ring. They try to sing as the red moon begins to fade, but it is not strong enough until May's friends start to sing, and they even bring Four Town to sing and help deliver enough energy to send all the women into the astral realm. May finds teenage Ming crying after the incident where she gave her mother a scar. Ming had gone through the same conflicts of having to please her mother while dealing with her own personal life and growth. May tells her that everything will be okay as despite how scary it is, things will get better. Andes as all the women enter Sun Yi's mirror to remove their transformation powers. May informs Ming that she she will not remove her powers as she has embraced herself for who she truly is. Despite Ming's concern, she is still confident enough to know what Mei is doing. Later on, Mei and her family use the profits from the temple to pay to rebuild the Sky Dome, which is helped by Mei's transformation being a bigger attraction. Tyler is now part of the girls' friend group. 
Mei goes off to hang out with them, and she shares a look with Ming, who is now more comfortable with Mei being herself. The film closes on a photo that the girls took with Four Town, and Mei's last narration notes that everyone has a wild and weird side, and she is glad she let hers out.